Breaking news, actor Paul Walker and a friend are killed in a car crash in Valencia. Walker was best known for the Fast and the Furious movie franchise. Good evening, I'm John Hartung. I'm Giovanna Lotta. This is Eyewitness News at 11. Paul Walker was just 40 years old. Friends ran to the crash scene to try to help him and the friend in the car with him, but there was nothing they could do. Our coverage begins with Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell, who is live in Valencia. Amy. Giovanna, people are clearly stunned by the death of Paul Walker. You can see a large crowd has gathered here at the accident site, leaving a memorial at the spot where this horrible collision happened. Now, Paul Walker shot to start him in a series of action films. Today, he tragically died in a car crash. Flames and black smoke billowed from the wreckage. The Porsche Carrera GT exploded in flames after slamming into a tree and a light pole on Rye Canyon Loop and Constellation Road. People in nearby buildings grabbed fire extinguishers and ran to try and help the two men trapped in the vehicle. Actor Paul Walker starred the popular Fast and Furious film series and his friend Roger Rodas. We heard the crash, we heard the explosion, and uh, we got up here as quick as we could to find out what it was. There was nothing. We tried. We went through fire extinguishers. And... So sorry. The 40-year-old actor had attended a charity event at a nearby business he owned called Always Evolving Performance. Toys were being collected for Walker's foundation. Friends say Walker, a car enthusiast, decided to go for a ride with Rodas, a businessman and professional race car driver. Rodas was believed to be driving the car. When we saw Paul leave, Paul and Roger leave, Paul was the passenger in the vehicle. Him and his buddy, uh, his, his brother in heart, in, in heart Roger just... They decided to, to joyride, take a spin, something that we all do. Walker had been working on the latest Fast and Furious movie. He recently filmed a starring role in a drama called Ours that is set to be released in mid-December. The L.A. County coroner says because of the fiery collision, he can't positively identify the bodies. Uh, it's going to take some time. We're going to have to uh, uh, probably use uh, dental and possible medical x-rays. The sheriff's department is investigating the cause of the crash. The coroner says an autopsy will be performed in the next couple of days. Reporting live in Valencia, Amy Powell, ABC7 Eyewitness News.